てー What's up guys, Austin here, welcome to the video, and today I'm going to be following step-by-step -step Terry Crews' cheat day, and so he's very well known for being super jacked, a great actor, and just being able to stay in shape all year round, and he also follows a very strict uh, diet and workout routine. He's also very well known for following the intermittent fasting schedule, specifically the 16-8, so he'll fast for 16 hours of the day and eat during an 8-hour window. And so during his fasting window, he will typically have coffee, water, tea, BCAAs. Uh, so for me, I'm going to be just drinking uh, probably one to two cups of coffee. I'm probably going to have an energy drink just kind of as a substitute for BCAAs because there's actually no uh, research to support BCAAs doing anything at all. So I'm just going to have an energy drink kind of as a substitute for a more tasty beverage during my fasting window and he usually breaks his fast around two so I have about five hours until then and I'm gonna hit my workout in about an hour or two and I will see you guys then all right guys so currently on my way to the gym and I feel like I've had so much caffeine that I've literally transcended into another body and it really makes you wonder what the first person who discovered caffeine felt like but yeah I'm kind of interested to see how I feel uh, how this workout will go. I've been training fast in a while, so I will check in with you guys then. All right guys, just got done with my workout. And to be honest, it wasn't one of the best that I've had. I just had this overarching feeling of fatigue the entire time. I felt like I didn't want to be there. I was just going through the motions, going through the sets. And I usually track my workouts using my Apple Watch just to keep track of my heart rate and everything. And my heart rate just had trouble staying elevated, getting elevated. Uh, than usual and quite literally I had trouble getting it up and so this is one of the reasons why I don't recommend fasted workouts because much like dating if you can do better then why settle for less so other than that I am now headed to the grocery store just to pick up a few things for the meals later tonight and I will check in with you guys then all right got the goods time to head home All right guys, we are back from the grocery store and just in time to break the fast. So what does Terry break his fast with? The biggest, most sugary apple fritter you've ever seen in your life. So definitely have not had an apple fritter in a while. And let's go. So quality apple fritter. Honestly, I think apple pastries are definitely it, it's up there. Was this worth starving myself for 14 hours? Eh, debatable.
Ah, spike. Well, that definitely took all of like 60 seconds to devour. <laughs> definitely couldn't have eaten like 10 more of those. So, just a little past two. And I will see you guys for the next meal at round four. Now for meal number two, we got pizza, y'all. So I just ordered a large extravaganza from Domino's. Um, hand toss crust. I was thinking about getting the Brooklyn style, but I wasn't too sure what the difference was. I asked them, they said it's pretty much the same dough, but the Brooklyn style is a small stretched out. So I figured I'd just get the regular large hand toss because why would you pay the same price for less material, you know? All right. Here we go. Meal number two, pizza. Extravaganza with all the toppings on it. Fresh out of the oven. Oh yeah. Honestly, Domino's I think is the best chain pizza. But comment down below, let me know which one is your favorite chain restaurant pizza. It's also pretty crazy how fast Domino pumps these things out. I think my order was done in like 10 minutes. is definitely one of those foods that I can eat every single day and would not get sick of, honestly. slice last bite <laughs> all right so that finishes up meal number two and honestly I'm pretty stuffed I don't know if I, I can fit uh, next meal in in less than two hours this pizza is gonna definitely send my stomach for a little bit but uh we'll see I mean Cheat days are definitely not easy. I mean, if it was just a pizza and apple fritter, that's a walk in the park. That is not a real cheat day. So I will see you guys in a little bit for meal three. All right guys, so it is about 5.45. I am not feeling hungry at all. It's obviously after eating an entire pizza, but we're gonna get this started. Meal number three is going to be... We are going lobster, mac, and cheese, y'all. <laughs> And unfortunately, I couldn't find any lobster mac and cheese around me, so I decided that I'm gonna cook it myself. And instead of using lobster, I'm kinda on a tight budget, being an unemployed college graduate and all that, I'm gonna use shrimp instead. So I'm gonna get that cooking, and I will show you guys the meal afterwards. Oh baby. Let's go. So ready to put this in my mouth. And let's dig in. Mm. Hot. Honestly, even without the lobster and just the shrimp, I, I still, I can see why Terry really likes this. I haven't had mac and cheese in a while. I think the last time I've had it was out of the box, the, the craft ones, never homemade, or hardly ever homemade. Definitely always out of the box, just out of convenience and And quite frankly, I didn't really eat that healthy in the past, so definitely a good throwback for me right here. Just 
so you guys can see. Look at the shrimp right here. Got some of them breadcrumbs on there. Super cheesy. I used the uh, cheddar cheese and mozzarella. And of course, gotta go with the elbow macaroni. Man, this is so rich. Alright, so I think about, I've eaten about like half of it, so I'm gonna take a break for now and let the food kind of settle and see if I can work on it some more later because I am very stuffed and this is very rich. So I'm gonna take a break and I'll check back with you guys later. Alright, so it's been about 15-20 minutes and still got my half here left to go and got my second win. So. Let's go, let's do this. My second win did not last so long. I think I'm going to call it. I think I have about like a third of it left. So that's two thirds down gonna put the calories up on the screen there and not gonna eat for a long while and then gonna have dessert when I feel like I can fit something else in my stomach all right so it's almost 9 30 and I'm gonna finish off the night with some dessert my feeding window also ends at 10 since I started at 2 today so I'm gonna finish off the night with some peach cobbler and i was able to find these little peach cobbler things at walmart pretty cool single serving and terry puts vanilla ice cream on his but i did not want to buy a pint of ice cream because i felt like it just didn't match if i would get a pint of ice cream with this little thing so i just got some cool whip and I'm gonna put that on top and that's gonna be dessert for tonight all right so dessert is served Put a generous dollop of Cool Whip on top, and let's dig in. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. You can see why he enjoys this. Love cobbler. Definitely not bad for being a um, pre-made pastry thing at Walmart. Although I gotta say, I'm definitely more of an apple person when it comes to pastries. Apple, blueberry, I think those are my top two. Peaches, uh, I mean I'll eat it, but it's it's okay. But yeah, this, this Cool Whip on top is definitely a game changer. I think definitely would be better with vanilla ice cream, but again, I didn't want to get a pint just for this little thing. Then I have to have it. Then I'd have to eat a pint of ice cream, and I do not want to do that, especially right now after it's today. good but yeah there's just something about fruit and cinnamon that just perfection
honestly by far the best thing I've had today. I have such a sweet tooth. I love desserts. I think I'd rather eat a cheat day full of desserts than savory stuff. All right, last bite. And that wraps up dessert and my whole day of eating. Uh, sorry, excuse me, cheating. Full day of cheat day, just like Terry Crews. Um, I'm just gonna chill for a bit, probably for like an hour or so. Let the food settle down kind of a bit before I move around. And then I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then I'm gonna break down today and my thoughts on intermittent fasting itself. All right guys, so just got out of the shower and I just wanted to wrap up this video with some of my thoughts about intermittent fasting. I've actually practiced it for about three solid years. I started out really strict at first following the 16-8 rule, just like Terry Crews did. And I just kind of loosened up over the years. And uh, I would just eat how, whenever I felt hungry. I didn't really feel like I needed to stick to a schedule. And so some of the things that I've noticed is that training fed versus fasted. So ever since I started eating breakfast, I felt that I, I had a lot more energy in the gym. I was able to perform better. Uh, my lifts just felt a lot more better. I was able to train harder and longer. And after a while, I feel like it's kind of like a structured binge eating. So binge eating is characterized by starving yourself or just like not eating for a long period of time. And then after that period of time of not eating, you just go for it and just go all in and just eat a lot of food at one time. Intermittent fasting is kind of like a perfectly set away. It's kind of a, an excuse to give yourself to binge eat. And I think it can lead down that unhealthy road of binge eating. And you definitely do not want to develop an eating disorder. So intermittent fasting in a way is kind of like a structured eating disorder, which I do not like about it. So that's one of the reasons why I stopped. Uh, you also can un underestimate how much you can eat in one sitting. I know that in the peak of my intermittent fasting, like, I don't want to say problem, but it got pretty bad where I almost developed a binge eating disorder. So I would starve myself for the entire day pretty much. So I my I think my maintenance was around 2,400 calories and I would easily eat that in one sitting and I would eventually push myself to eat one meal a day where I starved myself for like 24 hours and I would basically just eat that one meal a day and I easily ate over 2,000 something calories and I was still hungry afterwards. It was pretty insane. I didn't feel like I was full at all. I, did, I just didn't feel satisfied. Another thing that kind of ties in is that uh, ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone in your body. And so when you don't eat for a long period of time, your ghrelin levels will actually rise. And then when you actually do get a chance to eat some food, you're gonna have so much ghrelin running through your blood that you're gonna just eat as much as you can because your body thinks it's starving. Your body is only primed for survival. So it will make you eat as much as you can because it doesn't know that you're gonna eat tomorrow it doesn't know if you're gonna have food for the next weeks so it has to force yourself to eat a lot so that you have the calorie storage for who knows when you're gonna eat next and that's why I think having regularly spaced meals is better because it helps regulate your ghrelin levels so that you're not feeling super hungry at one time and just want to eat everything in sight another thing is that I think intermittent fasting just takes a lot of willpower. And with the intermittent fasting, you use up all your willpower really fast. If you're just someone who's hungry all the time like me, so I prefer to eat more meals. But I think if you're someone who just isn't inherently like hungry or eats a ton of food, then I think intermittent fasting is, is a good idea. You can try it out for yourself. Uh, I, do, I definitely do not recommend it, but if it's something that you feel like you can stick to and you just don't binge then intermittent fasting is definitely something to try a lot of the benefits that people go on about intermittent fasting is obviously the autophagy part of it uh that's the process of your bodily cells just repairing and rebuilding itself when you stop eating it gives your chance for your body to take all that energy that it typically uses to digest food and just shuttle it towards just repairing and growing your body but also on the flip side i think if one of your goals is to build muscle then definitely intermittent fasting is not the ideal diet structure to follow. 
I think it's better to have more regular meals to maximize muscle protein synthesis. So what that basically means is that your body is always in a constant state of muscle protein synthesis and muscle protein breakdown. Your muscle protein breakdown pretty much stays rel relatively constant, but your muscle protein synthesis will go up uh, during different time of the days. So every time you eat, every time you lift weights, it actually signals your body for muscle protein synthesis to break up and it stays elevated for some time uh, and usually for about four to five hours and until it drops down again and you then you need another stimulus which is usually signaled from eating protein sources so i just think it's just more optimal to eat more frequent meals than intermittent fasting if your main goal is to build muscle that being said if you if that is not your goal then by all means you can try intermittent fasting out for some of the benefits it may or may not offer the research out there is still inconclusive it was done on mice it wasn't done on people so we don't know too much about it anyways you guys can try it out if you want terry cruz is obviously in very great shape but also i think that is not what built his physique i think he just right now for him he's an actor so he has a really busy schedule so i think intermittent fasting kind of helps with that uh, when you don't focus on eating for a large part of the day you can focus on other tasks you can do a lot of other things but also if one of your goals is to build muscle or the maximum amount of muscle like me what i'm trying to do right now that's one of my main goals right now uh, then you definitely want to be eating the most optimal way uh, eating three to five meals uh, personally i eat four meals a day so i'll have breakfast lunch dinner and then a, uh, usually like a snack at night anyways that wraps up the video like if you guys enjoyed the content subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one